U.S. President Trump has appointed his Vice President Mike Pence to coordinate the government response to the coronavirus outbreak. Both men told a White House news conference that the risk to the American people remained very low. The announcement came as new cases of COVID-19, the infection caused by the Wuhan coronavirus, continue to spread at a rapid pace around the world. Sixty cases have so far been reported in the U.S. Minutes after the White House news conference, the authorities confirmed another U.S. case of COVID-19. Addressing the press, Mr. Trump expressed confidence that the U.S. would be able to handle coronavirus. We're very, very ready for this, Mr. Trump said. Researchers were rapidly developing a vaccine, he said. However, Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, said he did not expect a vaccine to be ready for a year to a year and a half at the earliest. The news conference came as Mr. Trump was criticized for earlier suggesting in a tweet that the media had fanned unnecessary alarm over coronavirus to make the coronavirus sick look as bad as possible. USA in great shape, he tweeted. However, he admitted at his news conference that the U.S. should prepare in case the virus spread. Every aspect of our society should be prepared, he said. He contradicted public health officials who earlier warned that spread of the virus to the U.S. was a matter of when, not if. I don't think it is inevitable, Mr. Trump told reporters. He credited decisions to limit certain flights into the U.S. with containing the number of infections. Alex Azar, the U.S. Health Secretary, said the White House had developed a plan to focus on five priorities, including better disease surveillance, local government response coordination, developing therapeutics, and increasing manufacturing of personal health protection equipment, like masks. More U.S. cases are to be expected, Mr. Azar said.